today we're going to be speaking about why you should be using 95 Ron fuel and why you should be using the 99 Ron or 99 octane equivalent. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as you've just seen in that intro there, we're going to be talking about fuel today. And before we even get into it, I just want to say thank you to Aaron Whiffin. Now Aaron has got a JB4, he's got a water meth cooled, stock cooler Golf R, and he's been doing these tests because there's been a lot of questions on the forum about why you should use 99 over 95 and whether it's just the additives that are different. These are things that I said quite frequently on the Golf R Owners Club, so he wanted to put them to bed a little bit and give a little bit of proof. So I'm doing a video about it, I'm going to be talking to you about the differences between 95 and 99, and the differences in the logs that Aaron has done. So before we get into the meat and bones of this video, I just want to say if you do like the video, if you found it helpful in any way, shape or form, like it, subscribe to the channel, and I also want you to comment down below letting me know which fuel you use and why. There's a lot of debate about Tesco and V Power but sometimes you can't use 99 run due to the location or due to where you live so let me know down in the comments but let's get into it we're going to start off by talking about octane rating so why is one of them higher and why is one of them lower so the higher the octane rating basically means the more compression the fuel can take before it detonates itself I'd like to think that we all know that petrol cars use spark plugs to ignite and they can also change either before or after when they need to ignite and this is called advanced timing now with the addition of turbos and the pressure and the heat that they produce there is always a chance that the turbo could ignite the fuel and it goes back into the chamber and causes all sorts of issues now this is called pre-detonation and the higher the octane rating that you use the less likely this is going to happen now Aaron's car is stage 2 it has been tuned for 99 run what this means is that the car in itself with the tune on is less likely to pre-detonate due to the increased temperatures and the increased power going out there it's worth noting and I don't know if I mentioned this already but on the side of the the fuel cap with the Golf R it does say 98 run or above so the standard car is mapped to have 98 or above now to my knowledge I don't think you can get 98 in the UK I, could, I, I only think that you could get 97 and 99 but if I'm wrong let me know down below let me know where you can get it from so what we've just been speaking about there is pre-detonation if the ECU does detect pre-detonation it will pull the timing back to ensure that the engine is running safe and to make sure that it doesn't happen so we're going to look at these logs now now there's three logs that I've been done the first one was done with 95 run the second one was done with 99 run and the third one was done with 99 run plus water methanol injection now if you don't know what WMI is or water methanol injection it essentially increases the octane rating even further so you'll get to see the differences between that as well so when the three logs come on the screen I want you to be taking note of three things the first one being the dark red line at the bottom and that is the timing that is what we're going to be speaking about and that is what the difference octane makes the second one is the left hand side of the column the left hand side of the column is measured in degrees the third one is a bright green line which goes along the top which is a revs you'll see that building all the way up to gear change and you see it drop down and then back up again now that all of these tests were done at a fourth gear pull at 3000 rpm so let's have a look at the 99 run so first upon the screen 99 run note how the timing does build to 13 to 14 degrees and then it is cut back down to 10 when the timing is going up, so when it gets higher in degrees, the more efficient and the more power the car makes. This doesn't mean that you can get 20 degrees of timing and it'll run fine. That's not the case at all. It just means it's most efficient. So it's getting the power where it needs to and it's detonating as in when it should. Second up then, we've got the 95 run. Note how the 95 run timing does not go above 10 degrees. This is at least efficient and it's losing power. If this isn't proof enough to show that you do need to use 99 run then I don't know what is but these are logs that are done by a JB4 which is incredibly smart it's hooked up to all sorts of sensors and places within the car and if you haven't seen on my channel I've got one as well and you've seen the logs that I do in a couple of my videos but these are so accurate that it shows you what the difference that the octane is making so last up we've got the super combination we've got 99 run fuel and water methanol injection as I said a little bit earlier in the video water methanol is injected into the fuel along with the fuel that you put in the car and it essentially increases the octane rating while also cooling the car as well you'll see that it just goes up to 15 degrees and then sits there 
very nicely. That is the optimum. That's where you want it to be, and that's why Aaron's car performs so well because it's got the most efficient timing. It's got the fuel in there. It's also got the water methanol injection, and it's the same if you were to add sort of boost in or any sort of octane booster in there as well. You'll see similar differences. So as Aaron quite rightly said on the Facebook post, and if you haven't seen the Facebook post. Go check the link down below, go have a look at it yourself and let me know what you think. But it's not about V-Power versus Momentum, it's purely based on the Octane ratings. Now, there's been a couple of things recently where there's been bad batches of fuel. Think that the Shell garages are franchised, so they may differ from different garage to different garage. I've got one just about a mile away from my house and the fuel has always been brilliant from there. I've always managed to look at logs and even when Shaq was setting the JB4 up, he said that the timing was brilliant. So what is the conclusion and why has Aaron done the Facebook post and why am I now doing a YouTube video? It is purely just to raise awareness of the difference between 99 Ron and 95 Ron, and that is not just snake oil. You put 95 in your car, whatever car it is, especially a turbo one, the timing is going to be lower, the efficiency is going to be lower, the power is going to be lower, and you're not going to be doing your car any favours. Go and put the 99 Ron in there, there's less likeliness of pre-detonation, and the car performs better. If you've got water meth injection, fantastic, that's all you need to do. The conclusion of it is, do not use 95 Ron. On. Please, I hope that gives you enough proof and enough reason to go out there and go get some 99 run fuel and continue using it. Yes, there's a price difference, but it is going to be better for your car. If you found this helpful, as I said at the beginning of the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with what I'm doing, but until next time, I'll see you then.